Hi friends, it's Shari. Today I have a little bit of a different project for you. I'm going to be decorating one of the mini notebooks to create a cute little gift. So I'm doing some stitching on this with the rainbow add-on to the embroidery hoop and I've cut that from some mermaid cardstock. I've also used some peacock cardstock to cut the embroidery hoop frame. So I have a little trick to help you get the holes out of this. This is a little paper sanding block and if you sand the back it will make this nice and smooth and it'll make those holes pop out pretty easy. You can see I got a bunch of them out just with the sanding block and then I'm going to take my little lint roller and pull a bunch of them out as well. It also helps to clean up your desk area with that lint roller and then that only leaves me a few little stubborn ones that didn't pop out. That's just a little trick that I like to use on my craft desk for these little holes. Now I'm going to be doing some back stitching for my rainbow, much like this example here. And you can see a little more in depth on the proper way to do back stitching like this in the intro to the embroidery hoop video. So these are the colors that I picked out for my rainbow today. I'm going with a bit of a more pastel color scheme and I have the DMC colors for those flosses listed at the bottom of the screen and I'll leave that there throughout the stitching part of the video. I am going to speed up the stitching which is why if you need a little more instruction that intro to the embroidery hoop video is a good reference. I'm doing bad stitching and I'm starting in that second hole and since this rainbow has a lot of nice solid pieces of cardstock you can easily just hold the end of your string down with some washi tape because this part of the back is never going to be seen it does not matter if it is messy so I like to go up through the hole and then down and then skip to the next one and then back down that way the stitches stay nice and even all the way across that bow there now that I'm to the end, I need to tie off the end of my string and there's two ways you can do this. You could tie a little knot by looping it back through itself or like I said before, we have all that nice solid area. So I'm just going to be stacking up the ends of these with some washi tape on most of these. So just a little piece of washi tape will hold that in place and it's never going to go anywhere or come loose. So now I'm moving on to my orange color there. I really think this is a pretty orange color. It's kind of peachy looking. But I thought that these colors looked really nice on this mermaid cardstock that I cut my rainbow from. And I'm just going one color at a time. I like to start on the left and work my way to the right, but everyone has their own preference for stitching, so you may want to do it a little differently. You just find what works best for you. And now that I've gotten to my last color here, I'm just going to tie it off on the back. I did switch to kind of tying some knots on some of them. And then I'm holding those knots in place with a piece of tape. That's what I just put down there. Just covers those up a little bit. But like I said, this is going to get glued down. No one's ever going to see it. Doesn't matter if it's messy. But look how cute that little rainbow is. Now I'm just adding a thin line of glue around that edge. And this die cuts, or not cuts, it gives you a little impression of a line to show you where to line that hoop up. So that's kind of nice. It gives you kind of a guide on where to put your glue. And here is my cute little rainbow in that embroidery hoop frame. Now I wanted to add some clouds and I thought it would be really fun to take this simple puffy cloud. This is the smallest one and a little bit of some wool felt. This is just some white wool felt and cut two little clouds out of it. I thought that the texture of the felt would be super fun to add to this stitched rainbow. And I've just flipped them in different directions so they're not exactly the same. The nice thing about felt is you could also flip them to the back side and you never really notice. Now I have some hearts cut from some guava cardstock. This is just cut with the hearts from the hearts and stars with skinny tag. I used the smallest heart on that cloud there, but then I decided I wanted that next size up. So instead of trying to pull it off, I'm just layering it right on top of it because it's going to hide right behind there. So the notebook I'm going to use today is from this two pack. This is the Hello Sunshine Remix mini notebook pack. It would be really cute on the cloud one. I'm going to use the rainbow one in my project today. There are some other notebook packs available at Lawn Fun that I think this would look cute on as well. 
And then for the little pin or screw in my embroidery hoop, I cut it from some gold sparkle cardstock to add a little bit of glimmer to my project. Now I'm pulling out the new rainbow stripe tape and this is like my favorite washi tape ever. And I thought it would be fun to add a rainbow stripe at the bottom. I did pull it out further so that you can see here. I'm going to wrap it around into the inside of the front cover. And there's actually some really faint grid lines on the pattern that's on the inside. So I'm making sure that my tape is lined up straight. And then I'm just going to trim it off before it gets to the page there. And then I can take my tape and continue on to where it wraps around to the back cover and then do the same thing to the inside of the back cover. And I just think this is a really fun detail to bring the colorfulness and the rainbows on the front into the inside of the notebook. Now to add my embroidery hoop, I'm putting some thin foam squares all around the outside and then one in the center. And I am adding a little dot of glue to these just because I really want to make sure that this doesn't come off, especially since this is a notebook that's probably going to be opened and closed a lot more than a card would be. It's going to be used more than displayed probably. So I just want to make sure that once that's in place, it's not going to come off. And then I have some gold glitter cardstocks hearts cut with that same hearts and stars with skinny tag dye and I'm just adding a few of those glittery gold hearts down around the bottom to help tie in with that glittery gold screw pin that's in the top of the embroidery hoop and I always love adding some hearts so I thought it would be fun to add some of those guava cardstock hearts to the inside around this little panel on the front cover where you can like write a note or your name or whatever you want to write in there so this is super cute and it is finished. I like that tape that wraps around the backside. You could even decorate the backside even more if you wanted to. But then I thought it would be fun to show you kind of a fun way to tie it up as if it is a gift. So I used the smallest of these stitch circle tags to cut a little tag from some guava cardstock. And then I have the Just For You stamp set. This stamp set has some stamps to say handmade by or from the kitchen. I like this one that says made with and has a heart, so made with love. And I'm just white embossing it. It fits perfectly on this little circular tag. So I've just used some clear embossing ink, added my white embossing powder, and I've just heated that up so I get that bright white sentiment. And now I've pulled out some unicorn sparkle twine. And I'm just gonna wrap this around the notebook a couple times, three times to be exact. And then I'm going to tie it with that little tag so it's kind of wrapped up like it is a present. And actually what I decided to do is I'm gonna take the two ends, and thread them through the hole and then I'll tie my bow on top of it and it will keep that tag right in place and make that bow look really nice. And you can kind of separate it because I have three of them here to kind of see all those different colors of that sparkle twine. And then here you have this cute little gift to give to someone. They'll just untie that twine, untie the bow, and pull that tag off, and they'll have this cute little notebook to make notes in. I think this would be a fun gift for someone that stitches to make notes about their patterns or changes to their colors and stuff as they work. So here's another look at that cute little notebook. I hope that this inspires you to maybe pull out some of those little notebooks or supplies you don't use very often and make something fun for a friend. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.